Hello, everybody. The fact that you see me in a short sleeve shirt tells you I must be coming to you from Mexico tonight. And I am from my backyard bar. And it's great to have you here with us. My name is Mark Mulligan. It's Monday night. That means we're about to have fun. A lot of fun tonight because between songs, I'm going to be taking you down the road about four and a half hours from here to this really really little town called Alamos, this colonial town that has a unique flavor to it. And you'll see a really neat spot there tonight. It's called Hacienda de los Santos, where a bunch of us are headed actually tomorrow. Since you guys couldn't come with us, we thought, hey, we'd show you the place and at least virtually take you there. Uh, Anyway, you know the routine. Head on over to your fridge, pour yourself something fun to drink, and uh, once you have that in your glass, come on back. If you could share this stream on your page, that's a huge help to us. Even if you can just shoot a note out to any friends of yours who you think might enjoy watching something fun tonight instead of the news, well, let them know, and let's have a good time here on Mulligan's Island tonight. We always kick things off with the theme song written by a guy that I just got to sing with this weekend up in Phoenix. He hosted the show and uh, was joined by several artists like Jody Bly, David Sheehy, even the Mulligan Kids and Elsa. So, Rudy B., thanks for hosting, and take it away with the Mulligan's Island theme song. Let's make our way down to Mexico Where we can meet the friends we know White sand, warm sun, and H2O It's time for us to get back to laid back Try a different beer from our favorite six pack This crazy world says, come on, let's go It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand Even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics It's a Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island It's the right place and the right time To be south of the border again This is the day we get to listen in We don't sing no blues anymore We kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand Even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics A Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island I'll be smiling here on Mulligan's Island.
Welcome, everybody, to my backyard bar. Our studio audience has just arrived. Hello, studio audience. <laughs> and you guys at home, I hope you're ready to have fun, especially because I know some of you had a very, very frigid weekend. And, uh, boy, I mean, people really got hit hard with cold temps up there. I was, as a matter of fact, north of the border myself and uh, spent a night right at the border. That was very, very cold. I think it got down to the low 20s. And then went up to Phoenix. Rudy B. hosted the show. I totally was nervous that I was going to have to wear clothes. I thought I was going to have to put on long pants, and that is just wrong. But uh, God was good to me that day. I got to wear my shorts. It was a beautiful day. And it uh, turned into kind of a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Okay. It's pouring rain. Heard you say what a miserable afternoon The roof is leaking all over the place You're sick and tired of the weatherman's face No doubt you've seen better days Than this miserable afternoon My God, take a look at this mess Makes me want to say What a beautiful, miserable afternoon Ain't it awful? Awful perfect for a party or two. Yeah, the kids are gone. It's just me and you. What a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Okay, it's pouring rain. Blanket and a bottle of wine. Now pop the cork, baby. Here's to you. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking too. Ain't nothing else that I would rather do on this miserable afternoon. What a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Perfect for a rainy day rendezvous. So let's improvise if that's what we gotta do. And make a beautiful, miserable afternoon. Just pop a battery in the radio and find a station playing something slow. And dance with me across the kitchen floor On this miserable afternoon They say tomorrow that the skies will be blue But I kind of hope it rains a week or two So don't go telling me the storm is through Don't want the sun to shine anytime soon And steal this miserable afternoon What a beautiful Miserable afternoon. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon here. Thank you, guys. It is a beautiful day. Thank you, God, capital G, for that. It's nice to be with you guys on a Monday. Thanks again for sharing this on your Facebook page and letting your friends know about it. You keep us going week after week, and I think this is like our 90th show or something today. So thank you. Um, well, speaking of weather, I remember many years ago before I moved here, I was, I was living up in Kirkland Junction, this little tiny town kind of south of Prescott, Arizona, between Wickenburg and Prescott. And I was out in the parking lot on a cold, windy, blustery day. And I started writing this song because I just felt the urge to head south to Mexico. And... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I wrote and I wrote and I finally ended up getting really cold in the car. So I went and sat at the bar inside and I was really, really about 75% there on the lyrics to the song. But Joyce, the bartender, kept taking my napkin I was writing on, looking at my lyrics and she killed my whole vibe. And I ended up sitting there and catching the buzz that day and I never finished the song. Shocking, isn't it? But years later, after I had moved to Mexico, I actually was sitting on a sand dune going through my stuff in my guitar case and I found these 75% written lyrics, and I thought, wow, that's kind of funny. Some of the stuff ended up coming true. 
So I finished up the lyrics, and uh, here we go. Winter's on the way, and the cold wind's starting to blow. Creeping through the cracks in my window, knocking on my door. I lie awake, wondering if tomorrow's going to be any brighter. But the weatherman says I better throw another log on the fire. I spent nearly all of my life running round in the sunshine. Now I look around and I see nothing but clouds in the sky. So I throw another blanket on the bed and dream of distant horizon. Let that warm wind blow as I close my eyes. I hear the desert and the ocean and the islands all calling out to me. Calling out my name like long lost family. Leading me home on a cold, dark night. Son of the sunshine, a child of the free and distant winds that blow. Baptized in the waters off the coast of Mexico. And I know I'll be already gone once the forecast calls for rain. And I know. I'll be heading down that highway once again Leaving all the clouds behind Straight for the borderline Sun of the sunshine Could it be the force of gravity That's taking a hold of me Back down to where I know I should be Leading me southbound in my mind Son of the sunshine A child of the free and distant winds that blow Baptized in the waters off the coast of Mexico And I know I'll be already gone once the forecast calls for rain And I know I'll be heading down that highway once again Leaving all the clouds behind Straight for the borderline Son of the sunshine A child of the free and distant winds that blow Coming out of the archives on that one. That was originally, that was the title track to a, a cassette, my second album I ever did, Son of the Sunshine. Haven't played it in a long time. Anyway, one thing I do love about Mexico and Sonora in particular is the variety that you have down here. People come to Sonora and they think it's just beaches. They don't realize we got mountains, we got pine trees, we got all kinds of stuff. It kind of reminds me of Arizona in that sense. People think it's just hot desert, but it's not. There's all kinds of stuff. Well, one thing that Sonora has that's kind of neat is this town that's about four, four and a half hours south of San Carlos and Wynas area, and it's called Alamos. I don't know if you've been there, but uh, we're going to take you there right now and just show you this neat place that's very, very different than here in San Carlos. It's at south. Hello, everybody. Marisol and Jose are going to tell you where we are today. Hi. Alamos, Sonora, Mexico, and uh, just here having a great time in a really historic colonial little town about four hours from San Carlos. This is a town that takes us back to the 1600s when it was founded. That was silver mining country here, and that made people wealthy here for a long time, and this, this place housed a lot of wealthy, famous people, and in the 1800s, as a matter of fact, this became the capital of what wasn't called Sonora back then. This was actually called Occidental. And uh, Occidental was in Sonora, Sinaloa, Baja California, and the southern part of Arizona. And in the early 1900s, things kind of dried up with the silver industry. The price of silver went down, and there was a revolution going on, and people fled the town. And it was pretty much abandoned until the 1940s, 
when a guy named William Alcorn came down here. He was the first American to come down here and he uh, renovated an old building, made it into a hotel, and then all of a sudden you had Americans coming down here renovating these old colonial buildings and now what you have is just a beautiful, beautiful town that's really vibrant again and uh, full of artists and great food and just uh, beautiful architecture and you're going to see some of that today. So hope you'll enjoy our visit with you to Alamos. Yeah, I'm excited because we get to go back down there tomorrow and there's actually a, a big group of Americans that are going and uh, Americans and Canadians. Some are going for the first time and they're going to really, really love it. So I'm going to show you on the next video the hotel that we're staying at. Wow, it's unlike any place I've been. I'm such a Motel 6 guy that you put me in a Super 8 and I'm feeling big time. So uh, you can imagine what I'm going to feel like down in Alamos tomorrow. Like I said, that's what I love about this country, Mexico. How about you, studio audience? I can hear the sound of the music coming across that border line tonight. And I can feel the touch of a young girl gently take my hand underneath the moonlight. Soft and faint on a Spanish guitar, carry me away. Our voices calling as I close my eyes, think I hear her say. Mexico You've been there on my mind for a long, long time and I know that I just can't stay away Mexico Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand gotta go Mexico You like those shots you guys are seeing of Alamos right now? Been a while, but does she remember? Is she still waiting there for me? And does she ever think about those hot summer nights down by the sea? Distant highways and dusty old roads, you got me crossing the line. Lead me down to where nobody knows, take me back in time. Mexico, you're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico, but you're another world away, Mexico, those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico, I can feel that wind begin to blow. Every time I hear that sound, I know Mexico You've been there on my mind for a long, long time And I know That I just can't stay away Mexico Like warm white sand in the palm of my hand Gotta go And I'll be coming back to stay Mexico, you're the one that I love and I can't get enough, Mexico, but you're another world away, Mexico, those clear blue skies and big brown eyes gotta go, Mexico. Not a bad country to hang out in. Well, thank you. Well, speaking of hanging out, the place we'll be hanging out over the next few days. I'm going to walk in the front door of it with you right now. Let's head on down to Hacienda de los Santos in Alamos. This is the spot in Alamos. Probably the most romantic place you'll ever stay, Hacienda de los Santos Resort. And I've been taking people from San Carlos down here for the past several years. We get a few times a year, we'll get a busload of people and we'll come four hours south to Alamos and spend a few days together. It's always incredible, but one of my favorite moments is when we get off that bus and I take them in here and they get their first sight of where they're gonna be staying. And that's a nice welcome to Hacienda de los Santos Resort. La vi, la 
gente la veía pasar y acompañaba su alegría cuando cantaba. Hold on, I was in the middle of about to have a drink here. Cheers, everybody. I thought that video was longer. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I am getting in the mood to wander, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with Elsa and a few of my friends tomorrow. Wander on down south four and a half hours to Alamos. Why don't you come with us? Let's do a little wandering around with this song that my buddy Rob Mel wrote. Don't it make you wander? Some of my friends have told me that I seem to like him. Though I tried to explain, then I searched for the meaning of life when I'm deep sea fishing. All they say I really need is a good sense of direction. So I pulled out the morning paper and I turned to the travel section and I said, North, South, East, West, which direction do you think is best? Don't tell me I'm not prepared for life. I got a current passport and a Swiss Army knife. Don't it make you wonder? Don't it make you wonder? Do you ever wonder? I wonder sometimes. Don't it make you wonder? Now I was sitting at home one night. I was watching the Outdoor Channel. You know I can't get excited about going someplace if I have to wear something flannel. Next was a show about tropic beaches. I like what I'm seeing. Next thing I know, I find myself on a plane to the Caribbean. And I said, fly, sail, sail, fly. Blue in the sea, blue in the sky. Don't tell me I don't know where I'm going. My ticket says anyway the wind is blowing. Don't it make you wonder? Ooh, oh, ooh. Don't it make you wonder? Ooh, oh, ooh. Do you ever wonder? I wonder sometimes. Don't it make you wonder? Dreamers often see things that some folks never see, but they often blur the line between fact and fantasy. Now poets often ponder, but they seldom count the cost. Just because I wander doesn't mean I'm lost. Don't it make you wander? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't it make you wander? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you ever wonder? I wonder. I wonder sometimes. Don't it make you wonder? Ooh. Come on, help me out at home. Don't it make you wonder? Ooh, oh, ooh. Do you ever wonder? I wonder. I wonder sometimes. Don't it make you wonder? Don't it make you wonder? Don't it make you wonder? I love to wander. Hey, in, in those little slides you just saw of Alamos and the Hacienda de los Santos, you saw this blonde woman in there uh, with her husband. They look pretty romantic to me. Let's, let's see who that girl is there. Meet Jamie, my friend. Welcome to Alamos and the beautiful Hacienda de los Santos Resort. Wow, this place is amazing, and I am here with Jamie. Uh, of the family that, that owns it and began this whole place, Jamie Swicker. Hi, hi, welcome Mark and Elsa, Rudy and Beth. Um, it's an honor to have you back here. Um, we love the, the groups that you bring to the Hacienda from San Carlos and I'm so happy to say hello to all my <laughs> San Carlos friends. Much love from Ramon, my mom and dad and myself and we're looking forward to you guys getting back here. It truly has been a family affair and uh, my parents started this project about 32 years ago. They moved down here to retire. One thing kind of led to another. 
needless to say, they didn't retire, and I ended up here and found the love of my life. So, yes, it has been a family affair. My dad just can't sit still. Uh, my dad is responsible for a lot of the architecture and design, and my mom, she did all the interior color combinations and uh, antiques and that sort of thing. Yeah. So. I can't wait to see Jamie again. And, of course, Ramon. You're going to hear from him in just a little while. Wish you were all coming with us down there, but uh, you'll see some cool parts of Hacienda de los Santos tonight. Uh, Dave Seaholm, thanks for tuning in. It was great to see you at the Phoenix Show. Leanne, I know you're watching with him. Thank you for giving Dave his hall pass so that he could come uh, and hang out with me for the day. That was a lot of fun. Dave, I see you just made a request. Luis just related to me. So I'm going to switch out the song I was going to do. And this one goes out VIP for Dave Seaholm. He watches us every week. Dave is, of course, the one who won that condo from Seaside Realty uh, over at Pelican Beach. And, Dave, I'm happy that you, after staying here that one time in the condo that you won, I'm happy that you're coming back to San Carlos for a whole month to join us in just, uh, just about a month. Thought I'd enjoy some time away Sandy beaches and sunny days It's as beautiful as they say But I don't want to stay And I'm down in paradise Palm trees swaying and the weather's nice But you're not here in my arms tonight So I'm down in paradise alone in a little cafe watching boats sailing on the bay this would be the perfect view the only thing missing is you and I'm down in paradise palm trees swaying and the weather's nice but you're not here in my arms tonight so I'm down in paradise I'm coming home to you Cause now I realize The only heaven for me Is right there by your side And I'm down in paradise Palm trees swaying and the weather's nice But you're not here in my arms tonight So I'm down in paradise Yes, I'm Palm trees swaying and the weather's nice But you're not here in my arms tonight So I'm down in paradise You're not here in my arms tonight So I'm down in paradise Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave, for the request on that one. We got some more requests coming right up. Let's head on back down to Alamos and Hacienda de los Santos. So when I bring my groups down here, it's usually just adults. But as you can see, we made an exception today. I recognize these two kids. How are you guys doing? Good. <laughs> so come on down and hop in the water with us. What do you think? We're ready for oh, you. Yeah, hop right? in. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Standing next to the lake, Rudy. That could have been really, really ugly. But uh, fun times down there with Jose and Marisol. They're not coming on this upcoming trip, which i got to be honest with you, I'm kind of stoked about. I get a little break. Elsa will be there with me. And uh, the only scary thing is we've got Marcos and Luis doing the babysitting. I wonder if I'll come home to a house or to ashes. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, I know with that cold weather you've been having up there, some of you are wondering right now, where'd my summer go? Now it happens 
every year around this time. Labor Day comes and goes, and I find that my heart starts sinking like the September sun, and I tell myself, oh no. I swear the month of May was only yesterday. Next thing I know, it's where'd my summer go? Those days down on the shore, toes in the sand. Sun on my skin, just kicking back on the cold. Now the kids are back in school again, and reality is sure closing in. The beaches are empty, the days are getting short, and the nights will soon be cold. Hey, where'd my summer go? A lot of folks. Need a break from the heat. Call me crazy. Bring on a hundred one degrees. I'd rather bake in the sun than put a sweater on. When it's cold, I just can't chill. But October's on the way. Need one more lazy day. Somebody tell me when my summer goes. Can't life move a little more slow? Can't warm June weather last forever? Can't autumn be postponed? I wish these really long days would last. But the sun's going down too fast. Somebody stop it before it disappears, leaving me all alone. Wondering where'd my summer go? They're breaking out sweatshirts and putting on jeans, but I still got my swimming suit on. I'm taking one last dip, then guess I gotta let go. Oh no, where'd my summer go? Come on, say it isn't so. I miss those UV rays on hot July days. Don't tell me that's all she wrote. But according to the weatherman, won't be long till we lose these ten. So what do you say, guys? Just one more time. You meet me down on the shore before we say, "Where'd my summer go? Where'd my summer go? Where'd my summer go? Where'd my summer go?" Don't want to say where'd my summer go. What was, what was God precisely thinking when he invented winter? God, we're with you on spring, we're with you on summer, but what is the winter deal? We're going to have a conversation, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys, I told you before, uh, Hacienda de los Santos, boy, it really is an incredible spot, unlike uh, any that you've ever stayed and uh, it's just kind of a neat place to walk around. It almost feels a little bit like a museum in there, this huge property. Uh, let's head on back down there right now and check out a little bit more of it. Okay, so Hacienda de los Santos has five separate properties within the walls. My dad built arches and tunnels to, and a bridge to connect the properties. This is the main property that they purchased where we're standing right now, and it was built in the late 1600s. When they purchased it, it was a ruin. The columns were crumbling to the ground, the wood beams had to be replaced, and it took about five years to complete this project. They had no desire to go into the hotel business when they first came to Alamos. They were retiring. But after the five years, when this property was finished, they got bored. So the house next door went up for sale, and they decided to connect the two with this tunnel. So come on over, and I'll show you. This is kind of our Hall of Fame here, events and awards that we've received throughout the years. So my dad built this tunnel here to connect the main property with the second property they purchased, which is right here. 
and we have a master suite and three estate suites here on this property. This is no Motel 6 we're talking about, folks. It's really, really cool. Um, hey, there was a, there's some cool shots I've seen you guys posting of, of uh, sunsets, but not just sunsets around here. There's been some great moonshots, too. I love that Mexico moonlight. The day disappears and the sun softly whispers goodbye. From up on this sand dune, I watch as it falls from the sky. There are places beyond the horizon, but tonight I don't care. an ambition but dreams that once led me here Mexico moonlight it's just you and me and a soft serenade to the wind and the sea Mexico moonlight where do these summer days go just needed one night here alone there once was a time when my whole world was just this guitar Now I'm wearing out the strip On the back of my credit card Life is so complicated And it seems to get more every day Until moments like this When somehow I just steal away Mexico moonlight it's just you and me and a soft serenade to the wind and the sea Mexico moonlight where do these summer days go just needed one night here alone maybe it's magic or maybe it's just peace of mind but I'm somehow in trance just sitting here Watching you shine Mexico moonlight It's just you and me And a soft serenade to the wind and the sea Mexico moonlight Where do these summer days go? Just needed one night here Where do these summer days go? Just needed one night here Where do these summer days go? Mexico moonlight Mexico moonlight Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I like this little stage right here that, by the way, Elsa did such a great job decorating. And after all that decorate, uh, decorating efforts, I you know, like to use this bar now and then so it doesn't go to waste. Very thoughtful of me, I think, of a husband, don't you think? This is a cool stage, but uh, I'm going to show you another really cool stage right now. Let's head on back south, down to Alamos. So when I bring my groups down here from San Carlos several times a year, one of my favorite things is doing my show. Uh, at night for everybody and lit up at night it's absolutely amazing this is usually where my stage is and folks are out here sitting we've got a big buffet dinner going and it's always just a great environment but if it gets cold or weather is at all an issue we've always got a really cool option right over here so as you follow me in here check this out we're set up to do the show uh, from this stage but what this also is is actually a movie theater where when you're staying at the Hacienda, you can come in any time of the day, you select the movie, they pull the screen down, they bring the popcorn, and you've got your own private showing in this absolutely awesome theater. That's a stage. Okay. And that was so fun having <laughs> Rudy B. joined us on that stage in Alamos along with Ramon, who you're going to hear from in just a little while. Oh, um, but anyway, we got a request from my friend watching us up the coast in Rocky Point. She's a big fan of several things that I'm a fan of, like white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Sherry, this one goes out for you, 
and thank you for watching it tonight from your trailer home in Rocky Point that has a mural that has these words painted on the side of her trailer. She's a fan. Sherry, thanks for doing that. Sing along with me from Rocky Point. Got a constant craving, can't fight the urge. Try to kick the habit, but it keeps on getting worse. I've given up on rehab, it's far too late. This lifelong addiction is impossible to break. Give me some white sand, a warm sun, and salty H2O. You know what, guys? This intervention's useless. It's out of my control. 12 steps from the ocean. Who needs 12 more? When you got white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Oh! Now it goes back to my childhood, that very first trip. Watching the waves roll in, mesmerize this kid. By the time they dragged me up the beach and shoved me in the car, I knew no matter where I'd go, I'd never get too far. From white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Now the sea's outside my window, there's a beach outside my door. Those three things still turn me on, just like long ago. What are they, guys? White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Oh! So keep your change of seasons, the winter and the cold. Send me a postcard with pictures of the snow. I'll look at it and shiver and just shake my head as I'm putting on my flip flops and stepping out instead. Into the white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Take all your sweaters, set them on fire. Slap on some sunscreen, put on some Kelly McGuire. Then turn around and run right to the place you ought to be. Get your butt to some beach chair down here with me. In white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Living by the sea. It's so good for the soul. I pinch myself and wonder who could ask for more than white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. There's no cure for this addiction. Every day I overdose on white sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Oh! White sand, warm sun, and salty H2O. Oh! Hey, hey. Sherry, thank you for the request I am addicted to. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up next week, and what I would love for you to do, I'm going to make it a special show. In fact, Tom Copeland, I see you requested one of the songs I'm planning on playing. Next week, what I thought I'd do, since the show falls on Valentine's Day, and some people have already told me, Mark, we're not going to go out at night on Valentine's Day. That's the crazy time when... You know, everything's expensive and the crowds are out and some of you guys celebrate it on a different day, kind of like Elsa and I do. So if you happen to be looking for something to watch together, I'm going to do next week my love songs that I never get to play. I'm going to play songs like Tom, the one that you asked me for a little while ago. She is everything and 
and uh, Away Without Words. And some of these songs I never really get to throw into the show. And, in fact, if you have one you would like to dedicate to somebody that you love, I'd be happy to do that. And I would really love it if you would send me a note and tell me something really romantic, not overly romantic, but something really romantic about your spouse, something really nice and sweet that, that the person you love does, maybe why you love that person or something like that. Send me something nice about it, something that I can share on the air with everybody. And, boy, if you could send me your picture, like it could be a wedding pic, it could be just a nice picture of the two of you, or both. And we'll put you up on the screen, and we'll, and we'll uh, share a message from you to that person who's watching the show next to you on the couch. And it'll be kind of neat. So uh, make sure to do that for next week. Look at your pictures. Pick out one or two really, really nice ones. We need new wedding pictures anyway of you guys. We really do. Because I like to throw those into a few of the songs. Send those to me. Send, send me something nice about the person you love, and I'd love to share it next week on the show. And, Tom, I promise you, next week I'll do that song for you. Um, hey, speaking of romantic stuff, there's a couple here that's got quite a story. Let's go back to Alamos, and let's hear the story of Ramon and Jamie and how these two fell in love. I've been living and working in Alamos now for about 21 years, and uh, Ramon would play here nightly, and... You know, my mom and I would sit in the audience and kind of flirt with him and the guys because they're just so cute. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> but um, one night, um, when Ramon finished playing, we walked across this bridge together, and we stopped underneath the big tree in the center of the property, and he said to me, Jamie, I'm not going to be playing anymore at the Hacienda, and I felt my heart drop. And I said, why not? And he told me he was moving to Hermosillo to teach music at the university. And the next thing I knew, I had a tear in my eye. And Ramon leaned over and gave me a kiss. He walked out the front door. I walked back across this bridge feeling like I'd been struck by lightning. And the next thing you know, we started dating secretly for about three months. And needless to say, he never went to Hermosillo. And we're coming up on our 19th wedding anniversary in November. So <laughs> when I mentioned destiny, you know, I'm a believer. Beso, 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 beso. Jamie and Ramon, what a story. Uh, in fact, I think Jamie and Ramon are watching us tonight. And, you know, they show up in one of my songs, one of my brand new songs that I'm going to sing you tonight. A little bit of the story of Jamie and Ramon. Love that couple, and I love that whole family. One thing that's so cool about going to Hacienda de los Santos, really, compared to going to some big, fancy, you know, chain hotel or whatever, is just the personality behind it. Meeting Meeting the guy, you know, her dad who, who built all the stuff and her mom who did, was so active and, you know, decorating it. And they all have their hands in this. Uh, Ramon, of course, who makes the music around there and Jamie who just makes everything run. They're quite a family. And when you go down there and you stay there, you really get to know them on a personal level. And I'm surprised. I mean, you walk back in the door and they haven't seen you in a year and they remember your name. Uh, they, they usually remember that I've still got a bar tab I didn't pay. I'm just kidding you. <laughs> Great couple. Can't wait to see them. And uh, anyway, I think after that little beso that we just saw on the bridge, we got to do this song for Jamie and Ramon. You know, one of my studio audience members really wants a shot of tequila from behind the bar, I can tell. <laughs> so if you see a guy back there behind the bar on this song, that's Glenn. If you need something, just ask Glenn. He'll bring it over to you, folks. Sometimes you just don't understand A single thing I'm trying to say Some things are hard to comprehend Right, Glenn? <laughs> when all these words get in the way Blame it on my accent Tell me I'm just some crazy gringo but tonight it's all so clear We want to go the distance We got to start right here Besame, baby Abrazame fuerte Yeah, you sure drive me crazy 
when you tease me like you do. So pucker up and close your eyes and press those pretty red lips to mine. Besame, baby. Sometimes you still don't have a clue. No matter how hard you try, you want to reach inside my head. It's a very scary place, folks. You want to know what's on my mind. It's really fairly simple. I'm not all that complicated. It's so easy to explain. Come a little closer and let me show you what I mean. Besame, baby. Abrazame fuerte. Yeah, you sure drive me crazy when you tease me like you do. So pucker up and close your eyes and press those pretty red lips to mine. Besame, baby. Ain't no doubt about it, girl, we got something going on. Now you smile at me that way. Call it wishful thinking, but did I just hear you say, Besame, baby, abrazame fuerte. Yeah, you sure drive me crazy when you tease me like you do. So pucker up and close your eyes and press those pretty red lips to mine. Besame, baby. Yeah, you sure drive me crazy when you tease me like you do. So pucker up and close your eyes and press those pretty red lips to mine. Besame, baby. Besame, baby. Come on, kiss me, woman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, I have to ask, and I'm sure everyone's wondering, Glenn, how's the tequila? So Glenn can vouch for the... Come here a second, Glenn. Glenn, I have a question for you. I'm sure a lot of people have wondered that if this is in our stage, our stage, our we fill the bottles with water or something like they do on TV shows. What do you think about the bar here? At, do we do that on Mulligan's Island? Agua del Fuego. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yeah, that's actually, it's Raicia that you drank. That's actually almost like a Bacanora, and it's from the state of Nayarit, okay. further down south. How'd you like it? I like it. Very cool. I like it, folks. I learned about Bacanora in the last year. Hold on. I just learned about Bacanora in the last year as I was getting ready to move down here. Oh, and, and I love it. It's an acquired taste. Not everybody does. But uh, that's a nice, milder alternative. Very cool. Yeah, and I'm going to have another. It's that good. <laughs> See, folks, it's kind of fun being a part of the studio audience. Right. If you see them all back here later, you're going to know why now, after, after that, that review of the Ricea. So anyway, um, I think we ought to talk to Ramon here. Um, you know, he's the other half of that couple that you just saw. Jamie was doing the talking. But Ramon is just such a, a great guy. He's got a neat story behind him, too. Uh, let's, let's meet Ramon, everybody. One of my favorite things about coming to Hacienda de los Santos is I get a chance to play with Ramon. And uh, not only is he a, a really, really great guitar player and vocalist and songwriter, he's just a great guy too. Um, Ramon, how, how long have you been playing guitar? Me too. Uh, I grew up in a family that uh, played music. In 18, I was, uh, what I remember, five years old five years when old. I was already playing guitar. And uh, so, since that day, I, uh, every day. Wow. Now, uh, uh, aside from playing guitar and working at the Hacienda, it, what else do you do? Anything else? Yeah, I, I have uh, private uh, classes and uh, I have my school and, and I also teach in, uh, in high school and I almost do. Great. Yeah. Well, um, I hope sometime you'll get a chance to actually come down in person, um, maybe even on one of my trips and enjoy Ramon and meet him. 
uh, like I said, apart from being a wonderful player and singer, he's a great songwriter too, with his uh, with his own CDs too. So uh, I hope you're enjoying Ramon and tonight's show too. Ramon, if you're watching tonight, I am so excited that I get to sing with you. Um, I'm going to be doing a show in Alamos on Wednesday night on that cool stage that you saw before, the outdoor one. And um, the first half of the show will be me, and then and then Ramon's going to come over and join me for the second set. And then on Thursday night, Ramon is going to bring his band out, and they are really amazing to watch too. Ramon's not only a great performer, I love his voice, I love his guitar playing, but he's a wonderful songwriter too. Um, I mentioned before that I have a new song that Jamie and Ramon show up in. As many of you guys know, I'm recording a new album just up the road from here in Hermosillo, about an hour away. I'm not going to Nashville this time. I'm, I'm doing this with a full-on Mexican band. In fact, this next song that you're going to hear, I recorded with a full mariachi band. So this is really trippy. This is very different from anything you've heard. I've always wanted to do a mariachi song in English because so many Americans and Canadians love mariachi music, but they often wish they could understand what was being said. And uh, anyway, this is a song that I wrote about the place that we're going tomorrow. So the name of this song is Alamos. Stealing a kiss in the callejón del beso, an old man. Tips his hat to me and you. Voila. Plaza Cathedral cast shadows from her steeple. On the air, the scent of sweet perfume. Adobe walls and cobblestone paint pictures of the past. In this ever-changing world, nothing ever could outlast. Alamos, take me back to way back when, to centuries. Some days of long ago Another time Life slept behind They still wake up When that rooster crows In Alamos At Hacienda de los Santos Ramon plays his guitar and the words he sings steal Jamie's heart. Fate just couldn't deny it. The night their souls collided, it was over right from the start. Neither could resist it. It was simply meant to be. Is it just Ramon and Jamie? Or could that be you and me? In Alamos, there's something magic in your skies. And suddenly, it's out of my control Your beauty, your romance Tempt me to take the chance Without a clue As to where the story goes Alamos Your hand slips into mine Our fingers intertwine not a soul left on these streets, just me and you. As the moon comes out to play, stars flicker and sway and fall, just like lovers do. Alamos, si esta noche estoy soñando, te lo pido, no me dejes despertar. Tal vez en otro día, quizás en otra vida, Nos hallamos enamorado los dos Alamos Where the story ends Who knows Alamos Thank you very much. That's a song off the upcoming album, and uh, I'm glad you guys are getting to meet Jamie and Ramon tonight. And those of you who are going down there with me, you're really, really going to love them and the family, too. Can't wait to get down there with you guys. Um, this video that we shot uh, in the town plaza that you're about to see is kind of extra special tonight because the guy that you're going to see is no longer with us. He was kind of a legend in, in Alamos, 
quite a character, as you'll see from the next video. And I'm glad we were able to do this when we did. So let's head on down. You just never know who you're going to run into when you're walking around the town plaza in Alamos. I am in the town plaza here in Alamos, and I am with Don Roberto, who, aside from being a, um, doing shoe shines for people here in the plaza, he's also a great singer. Take it away. Everybody know me here. There we go. Acá entre nos siempre te voy a recordar hoy que a mi lado ya no está. No queda más que confesar que ya no puedo soportar y que estoy odiando sin odiar porque respiro por la vida. Yeah. Cool. That guy had a voice on him, and you could name for him any Vicente Fernandez song, and he could just nail it. You'd think you were listening to Vicente, who's kind of Mexico's Elvis. And so, uh, anyway, um, the shoe shine man here, I think, would like this next song. It was requested by somebody who's watching us over in Los Barriles, Baja California. Uh, Sue and Ed, I want to say hi to you guys, and I'm hoping we can get you over here to the mainland next year. I know you're thinking about it. We'd love to see you here in San Carlos. We'd love to have you in the studio audience with us. So uh, let's, uh, they wanted to hear this next song, and it kind of goes with that guy that we just saw right there, the shoe shine man. I don't wear shoes, don't sing the blues. That's never been my style. I don't play Stevie Ray. I'm the barefoot happy guy. Yeah. But that all changed the other day when she said, honey, try these on. My jaw dropped as she handed me the box. All I could think was run. I got the shoes, blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes, blues? Get these things off of me. Picture a really cool Rudy B lead right here. It'll sound awesome in your head. This is wrong. The girl is evil. Tell me this is all a bad dream. I'll mow the lawn. I'll change the kids' diapers. Just don't do this to me. Size 11. Black leather. Nah, this can't be true. Box after box piled up on the table. What am I going to do with these shoes? Blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes? Blues. Get these things off of me. Three words. Take them back. She looked at me and said, Sorry, Jack. I'm sick of those sandals. I threw away your thongs. Now put them on. Or I'm gone out of here. Que le vaya bien, Marcos. Buena suerte. No aguanto más. All right, guys, here's the sad part of the song. My God, what have you done? I look ridiculous. Pressed pants, button down. That ain't the worst of it. I got ten toes wiggling around, saying set us free. It's hot and cramped and crowded in here. I'll pay the ransom. Just get me out of these shoes. Blues. How in the world did she ever get me into these shoes? Get these things off of me, shoes blues. I can't believe people actually walk in these shoes blues. Get these things off of me. I'm begging you, baby, please. Get these shoes away from me. Get them out of here. All right, hand me the necktie. Might possibly the saddest song I've ever sung. The Shoes Blues. Thank you, Ed and Sue, for the request. It's great to have you with us week after week. And thanks for supporting the show like you always do. All right. Uh, one thing that's really neat. Glenn, you would like this. He's the one over here drinking that, uh, that Mexican Ricea stuff that's kind of like a bacanora. It's kind of like a mezcal. But you got to get down to Hacienda de los Santos with us sometime because... 
They have a bar that has, Elsa, how many tequilas do they have? Hundreds? They have, uh, I think it's way more. It's like 400 different tequilas that they have. It's all that they have in there. Just re- maybe more. I think it's more than that. I'm going to get the exact number, but I'm thinking it's over 500 different tequilas. They've got them from a dollar a shot, like the, the cheapest, all the way up. To, they have a couple that are $1,000 shot tequila. And they actually, amazingly, sell a couple of those every year. Can you believe that? You got to check this place out. Let's check out the cantina, the tequila bar down at Hacienda de los Santos. Welcome to Zapata's Cantina. Come on in and I'll show you around. Um, This is an actual colonial cantina. The bar that you see right here um, was actually built in the early 1700s. Comes from Cuernavaca, Mexico, and we had it shipped here and put it back together. So it's an authentic colonial cantina. My dad has collected over 600 different types of tequila that we have here in the Hacienda. And they range in price from $3 to $300 a shot. So um, there's quite a variety. Um, My parents over the years have collected sombreros and spurs and branding irons. Man, if they could talk, what stories they would tell. We believe it's one of the largest tequila bars in the world. Um, There's a few others that might have more bottles, but some of them are empty, so we don't think that really counts. Um, Another thing that we like to do in our cantina is give a tequila class. My dad calls it Tequila 101, and it's about an hour and a half long, and he gives you a description of the different types of tequila, and we serve appetizers. So if you come to the Hacienda, you can request a Tequila 101 class in our cantina. you got to get down and try it out, folks. It's really, really neat. In fact, one thing that's kind of neat on our trip tomorrow night, the first night we get there when we don't have any shows, the Hacienda offers that tequila class that I think Jamie mentioned there, and uh, it's really cool. You know, you get to sample four different tequilas and have appetizers, and you're right there while... Jim, her her father, teaches you everything there is to know about tequila. And this guy is just an expert on everything, um, on architecture and history down there. But he knows his tequilas, too. So you guys who are in that thing are going to have a blast. Let's get you in the mood for that right now. For the song that goes way back, this one's called Too Much Tequila. Spent some time out in Southern California. The girls out there, you really wouldn't believe. Found myself a place down by the ocean And filled it up with everything I need Staying out all night and having a good time Thought I'd finally left you far behind But sailboats and sunshine Couldn't get you off my mind I couldn't drown your memory drinking whiskey or wine. I spent all my money, now I'm down to my last dime. Guess I've had too much tequila, not enough lime. So I said, hasta luego, San Diego. Then I went on down to Mexico. Hanging out with friends in some backyard cantina. And traded in my last dollar for a shot of gold. Singing ay 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 and wearing big sombreros. They threw me out and I stumbled my way home. Cause sailboats and sunshine couldn't get you off my mind. I couldn't drown your memory drinking whiskey or wine. I spent all my money, now I'm down to my last dime. Guess I've had too much tequila, not enough lime. Spent all my money, now I'm down to 
my last dime. Guess I've had too much to keep up. Not enough lime. Too much to keep up. Not enough lime. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I'm. Some of you guys out there, I know, are getting your your appetite your appetites worked up here during this show. Some of you guys, I know, like to uh, enjoy a little guacamole while watching. Well, let's head on down to Alamos and let's share some guacamole together. We are in a taco stand down near the Plaza in Alamos, and about to have some carne asada. And um, this. Aside from this taco, this is called a gordita de asiento, and that's a masa patty with some beans, cheese, carne asada on it. And I'll tell you what, nothing down here would be great food without guacamole. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Now I'm getting hungry. All right, guys, you know what time it is. I kind of thought Glenn would be up here singing this one after having that mezcal. <laughs> it may take another one. I met her at Mercado, she was buying avocados, and man, she really turned me on. She reached for my pepper, and I grabbed her tomatoes, I knew it wouldn't take very long. She walked up to La Mesa, she picked up some cerveza, so I picked up some onions and limon. And the way she looked at me, man, I could clearly see that it wouldn't take very long. You know your part, guacamole. 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 We'd be baking guacamole all night long. Guacamole. 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 We'd be making guacamole all night long. Walked up to the line, I fell in right behind, and man, she sure looked good to me. She reached for her money, I said, wait a minute, honey, I believe this one is on me. We got in my pickup, we started to back up, we headed on down the road. We went into her casa, we ate tortillas de masa, and we made guacamole all night long. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! guacamole. We'd be making guacamole all night long. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! We were making guacamole all night Who is that mystery man behind the bar? Here we go! Guacamole! Guacamole! Haciendo guacamole toda la noche. Guacamole! Guacamole! We be making guacamole all night long. Thank you for the guest appearance from Glenn in the studio audience. He's a very shy guy, in case you guys haven't noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> whack a mole yes. Hey, uh, I know some of you guys tonight have requested some songs, like Tim Scott watching us in Illinois, Dennis Swint over in Mesquite, Texas. Tom Copeland, I know, likes to pull them out of the archives, too. Tom, I'm going to play yours next week when we do the, the Night of Love songs, the, the, the seldom played love songs. You're going to hear those next week. Totally different, along with your dedications, right? If you got a cool picture you want to show of that person you love, get it over to me. And send me something you really, really like. You know, something you like. Something you love about that person. And uh, make it really good because I'd love to be able to share it with our Monday audience. And, you know, like Sean and Shara, people like you, I, I'd love to hear from you. Something really, really fun and romantic about your spouse. And you guys, uh, Dennis and, and uh, Tim Scott, and the other ones who were asking for songs off my Things I Love cassette. They're going all the way back to my original home project, which I don't really even count in my albums. But one of these days, maybe in a, in a few weeks, two or three weeks, I will do a show 
of just that album that you haven't heard. You've probably only heard my song called Waiting For You. Maybe I'll go through that entire album and give you the early, early years uh, where I was in a $10 an hour studio and even between songs, sometimes like as the song's fading out, you could hear birds chirping. It's not an expensive sound effect. It's because they didn't really soundproof the place too well and you could actually hear birds chirping. Uh, anyway, I'd, I'll play you those songs, but let's, let's figure, let's do that in about two or three weeks. Give me some time to relearn some of those songs I haven't played since my hair was brown. And uh, it'll be fun. We'll go all the way back and revisit the album called The Things I Love. Um, and I, I can already see Rudy picking up his guitar right now and learning these songs before I even get to them. So, all right. Let's head on back to Alamos because I'd love to uh, let you guys know how Jamie and Ramon and I got to know each other in the first place. Over the years, Jamie and Ramon and their family have become such good friends and like family to my family. And I can't believe, I think it's been 20 years now. Already 20 years, Mark. No. Unbelievable. Seems like yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah, 20 years ago, uh, Ramon took me to San Carlos and he booked a reservation at Charlie's Rock and we were watching the sunset and all of a sudden he grabbed the mariachi's guitar took a promise ring off my finger, put it on my daughter Mariah's finger when she was seven years old, and then pulled a ring out of his pocket and proposed and played the song for tea. Nice Maybe. move, man. Yeah. Oh. Your wedding proposal totally kicked out of mine. Oh, it, it was special. <laughs> was crazy. Now, he captured my what? heart yeah. with his romantic boleros, let me tell you. And then we went into the bar afterwards and Mark was playing and I went crazy for his music. I just loved it. So I asked the owner who he was and if he had CDs available and he gave me one as a gift. After the show I went up to Mark and, and commented on how much we loved his music and asked me if I wanted to buy a CD. Always and trying I to said, sell a CD. And I said I already have one. <laughs> And I said, yeah. I'll give you 10% off a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. And now we have them all, of course, and listen to them all the time. I love that story. I really do. What a couple. You know, I think of people like that when I sing my next song I'm about to play. And I'd like to throw somebody else in the mix on that, too. I mean, there's so many people I can name here. But we lost one of them today who, who is just a dear friend to some folks in this crowd. Uh, I know that Rudy and Beth have hosted this gal who would sit in the front row at some of my house concerts. Uh, and this woman that you see, this beautiful woman, Claudia Babbitt, who we just lost today, had a long and really, really happy life. Do you guys realize that that woman right there was Gary Seiler's, I think, first grade teacher? Can you believe that? And uh, the story she would tell about Gary and her face would just light up when she'd meet new people, full of energy till the very end. I, I actually am happy for Claudia. I mean, what a way to live. Um, you know, I just saw her recently at a house concert in Phoenix. Um, I asked her, by the way, you know, what Gary Seiler was like as a kid, and she said he was just the same. He was just that same kind of naughty boy, you know. But Claudia, uh, rest in peace, and um, I'm going to include you in this next song, too, because you definitely are my kind of people. Jim was lying in a hospital, they thought he was gonna die. His brother said, bro, I got an idea, you wanna go for a ride? The car's all packed, the engine is running, I'm heading for Mexico. Jim said, I'm in. The nurse freaked out and he hobbled on out the door. Ten years later, Jim's still kicking and he's got himself a beautiful gal. Running round this little beach town, the boys sure having a ball. Let me tell you about my kind of people, my kind of place, my kind of moments, and my kind of days. I'm going to take you down to my kind of bar. In fact, it wasn't really even a bar. I never had a liquor license. But Cesar's got a seaside joint just south of here. Forget about that pina colada. 
is all he's got is beer. The place ain't nothing but a fallen down shack, weathered by the waves and wind. I hope you like water, cause you'll be sitting in it when the tide comes rolling in. He'll cook you a fish that he caught that day, then he'll belt out a song for the crowd. He'll drink half your beer, but don't worry, buddy. The next one's on the house. I'm talking about my kind of people in my kind of place in my kind of moments and my kind of days. It's my kind of day to just hang out with a whole bunch of my San Carlos friends. I'll catch you at Palapa for a bite. Had a life in the real world Now he goes by Captain Bob Down here no one knows your last name But everybody knows who you are Like Larry and Maris Giggles and Bruce Kate and La Manga John Yeah, Howard got up to four boats And Bomberg's back in town There's Don and Sandy Glenn and Mary Jo And Flint from Barracuda Bombs On just another Tuesday A not Tuesday, and that's all right with us. Some guitar playing green goes banging out a tune, and they're tearing up the old dance floor. Raphael asked me otra más. But who could ask for anything more when you're singing for my kind of people in my kind of place, my kind of moments, my kind of days, my kind of people in my kind of place, my kind of moments, these are my kind of days. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, um, David Sheehy is watching us right now. And Dave, what a treat it was to have you get up and perform along with Jody Bly and Rudy at the house concert we just did up in Arizona this Saturday. David Sheehy, boy, that guy has been doing this for a long time. What a voice, what a songwriter, what a performer. Always just has a smile on his face and just energy and gets a crowd going. And I'm excited because he and Rudy B right now are working together on a new song of David's. That's really, really turning out great. Can't wait to have you hear it next time I get David Sheehy to join me on a Facebook show. Some of you guys have seen him perform with me on this Monday night show. And we'll make another one of those happen very soon. Dave, I appreciate the request you just sent in for this next song. It's off the Rising Sun album. I think you guys know the story behind it. So just very quickly tell you, this song is just about having a positive attitude, even amidst the negative things that happen. And yes, I'm talking to me here because I'm guilty of complaining and not looking at the bright side so many times. You think I'm Mr. Positive all the time? No, I'm not. Ask my wife and kids. And uh, I don't know, maybe this song is something we could all learn something from, including yours truly. I got to those three words I grumble just like you saying I got to I sigh and dread those things I gotta do I gotta get up every morning gotta fight rush hour traffic gotta do that nine to five thing gotta pay my taxes I don't want to I got to Then it hits me Just when I think I got it pretty bad How many folks Would gladly take those burdens Off my back 
That big list of I got twos that belongs to me and you. It's got a few things on it others wish they got to do. And a little voice says it's a choice. You can say I got to, or you can say I get to. I get to go to work and put in a good eight hours. I get to cash a paycheck. I get to have a job. Instead of looking for work or getting laid off. Sounds kind of crazy, but it's true. You can say I got to, or you can say I get to. Now a dozen times, circle around that jam-packed parking lot. But half a mile away is where you found the closest empty spot. Here comes that old I got to, about how far you gotta walk. As the car door slams behind you and you stop off down the block. Now there you go. But don't you know, you can say I got to, or you can say I get to. I get to stretch my legs and get some exercise. Cause I guarantee there's someone else out there who give anything to ditch that wheelchair. Gladly walk twice as far as you. So you can say I got to. Or you can say, I get to. I know it's just one letter out of three. But take that O and change it to E. Instead of saying, I got to, try saying, I get to. And a lot of things might not seem all that bad. That traffic jam ain't backed up quite so far. When you say I'm blessed, I get to own a car. And those property taxes, I gotta pay. Because I get to go home to a house each day. You'll see things from a different point of view. Start saying I get to Instead of I got to I get to No more I got to I'm gonna say I get to I do Hey, so do you We get to Thank you very much. Hey, Dave, thank you for the request. It means a lot to me that David Sheehy is watching us tonight. Uh, hey, let's head on back down to Alamos. This is uh, what Jamie's going to say. It goes a little hand in hand with a song I just sang. Uh, one thing I love is every time I bring groups down here, uh, Jamie will not see people sometimes in over a year, and they walk in, and she remembers their names, and they feel like they've just walked into their own home. Well, and that's, that's the main point, and that's what we want people to is that they've come home and it truly is genuine and how I feel in my job um, the most rewarding thing for me is to know that somehow some way I've made a difference in someone's life even if it's just to give them a hug or you know to create a memory that will stay with them forever forever at the hacienda so that's truly rewarding I feel so blessed to live in this little corner of the world and uh, definitely believe in destiny because of how my life turned out finding my husband and raising my children here has been a huge blessing and the icing on the cake is is being able to work here and to meet different people that walk through the doors i can honestly say that i feel so blessed with the people i've been able to meet throughout my career at the hacienda so i love it love that love hearing that from jamie and that's just the way she is what a positive person uh, it's going to be great to get down there. Tomorrow we head out. Um, hey, got a few different requests for, for this next song I'm going to play. Hadn't planned on playing it tonight, but I know that Beth, Rudy B's better half, 
she'd like to hear this song along with Jim and Linda Cunningham, who I suspect are watching us tonight from around the corner in San Carlos. Hopefully not up in Colorado right now. But um, I'm going to send this out for all of them. By request. I was sitting on my front porch swing. Watching the sun go down Thinking that there's still some things Left to do while it was still around Then my colors took me by surprise And I'm suddenly so hypnotized I let the worries of life pass me by It was then and there that I realized That a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go and learn to let it be Watching mama getting gray And my daddy's strength began to fade That's when I began to pray Lord, please don't take them away Cause I still got so much left to learn And I love my mom and daddy so But this whole world continues to turn Mama said, son, I thought by now you know that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go and learn to let it be now I'm sitting on my front porch swing I'm watching the sun go down Thinking that there's still some things Left to do while I'm still around Then my life passes before my eyes And I'm suddenly so hypnotized is it the colors of those painted skies? Cause I hear a voice from the other side Singing sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That a sunset can be a beautiful thing can let go and learn to let it be sunsets can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that sunset can be a beautiful thing you can let go and learn to let it be. By request, going out for several people. Jim and Linda. Also, Beth. Hey, Beth, thank you for all the work you did in hosting that show up at Rudy B's. Hey, want to let you know, as for Rudy B., what a guitarist. He was on fire on Saturday in all these years of playing with Rudy now. I think that was probably the one show we've done together where he I don't think he missed a single note. He was just tearing it up. Jody Bly, thank you for getting up and doing a couple of songs, too. It was a pleasure to hear you. And David, David Sheehy, man, you, you knocked it out of the park as you always do. So uh, anyway, Rudy B is going to be joining me in southern Arizona 
At a neat place to watch a show, the Two Back Center of the Arts has this cool theater. It's cabaret-style seating for the show, a limited seating thing. March the 5th, which is a Saturday night, uh, Two Back is the coolest town. I don't know if anyone in my studio audience has ever been there or walked around. For years, I blew by it on the freeway without taking the exit, never going into the little town. Man, is it neat. If you live in Tucson or Green Valley or you know, even over in Sierra Vista, I hope... You'll come down and, and check that show out at the Two Back Center of the Arts. Uh, you'll enjoy uh, Rudy B. on lead guitar with me. Uh, it's going to be a fun show. Saturday, March the 5th, Two Back, Arizona. Um, all right, Luis, I'm going to check with him real quick and see if we have any last-minute requests other than the things I love songs. I think we're good. So I'm going to do one more song. Jason Cunningham, you've been requesting this next song for several weeks, and I haven't gotten to you. Jason is Jim and Linda Cunningham's son, who I just did a request for. And Jason, I had a great time talking to you up in Colorado, and I look forward to seeing you when we get up there this summer again. Um, so we'll close out with this one, but before we close it out, um, before we close it out, you've seen, you've seen a lot of cool stuff from Hacienda de los Santos tonight. Uh, we'll show you this little quick video of the place, because I think this is just the neatest thing, and then we'll close out with a song here. Hacienda de los Santos uh, Resort. I've talked to people who've been all over the world who have come with us on this trip. Um, I remember one of my friends, a pilot, he said, man, I've stayed everywhere. Before we went there, he says, I don't know, it's going to take a lot to impress me. He, he told me at the end of that trip, this is the coolest place I've ever stayed. I know Sean Castle, uh, who's maybe watching tonight too, he and Shara, as you guys see on Facebook, they are all over staying at cool places, and they fell in love with Hacienda de los Santos. I know you will too. And we got some first-timers going with us for the next few nights, and I can't wait for that. Hey, Turk Sims, if you're watching, don't go anywhere because it's been brought to my attention that you have a request, too, and you, my friend, are VIP. So we're going to extend the show. We're going to do two more songs here. By the way, I want to thank Pablo and Anais. They're doing a great job tonight. Everyone give them a big round of applause. because you got to keep video people happy because they can make you look real bad. It's not hard to do. <laughs> Jason, this goes out for you. And David Sheehy and Rudy B and Jody Bly, you might relate to certain parts of this song too. I walked in through the front door of a pawn shop and walked out with my future in my hands. That first guitar would change my road forever. And take me places I had never planned That day I took her home and opened up the case Tuned her up and played me my first song On this journey round the sun Just trying to find my way And I haven't yet begun to figure out what's going on I've wandered, I've strayed, I've wasted so much time but happy New Year's Day, another circle's just begun. Another trip, another journey round the sun. I 
Look back on that church up on 7th Street And the altar boy that I once used to be Now me and God have frequent conversation Even when I'm not down on my knees In a bar or on a boat or on some hidden beach You see I'm not alone wherever I may be On this journey round the sun just trying to make it back to the place where I belong Cause there's a man I want to see I've wandered, I've strayed, I've wasted so much time But here we are today, so far it's sure been fun What a trip, this journey round the sun Round and round, round and round we go Where it stops, only heaven knows We came into this world bald and barefoot And some of us haven't come that far <laughs> Maybe when you're spinning round in circles You eventually get back to where you are Here's to love, here's to our families Here's to just how good this life can be On this journey round the sun We're all trying to find our way And we haven't yet begun To figure out what's going on We've wandered, we've strayed We've wasted so much time But here we are today So far it's sure been fun, right? What a trip this journey round the sun It's a trip This journey round the sun Yeah, what a trip What a trip We've had Luis working on the request tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I always enjoy when uh, Luis handles the request because I go back later on in the night and and uh, read your comments and your banter back and forth. And I realize no one's paying attention to me. You're all paying attention to Luis. You guys are. I'm just the sideshow here. This is the Luis show. Oh, uh, you know what, Sharon Wolf? If you're still watching, I want. I'm going to sneak you in here too. This is kind of like when I say I'm going to have one more drink. Yeah, and I, and I say one more song. Which, by the way, salute everybody. Salute. Mm. I'll tell you what. Let me let me do two more songs, and then I'm 86ing myself from this backyard bar, <laughs> from my house. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be homeless after this. Um, Sharon Wolf, this goes out for you and the whole Wolf Pack. Tourist traps are hopping, the bay front bars are rocking, and it's barely even noon. Yeah, won't you listen to the tune? The bands all sound like Buffett. The out of towners love it when David Sheehy jumps up on stage. Cause he and Rudy B are legends around this place. The whole crowd is swaying to a reggae sound. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. The local folks have seen it all. They remember when this place was small, but my God, all that has changed. So they grumble and complain about the college kids with fake ID, the traffic jams and the crowded streets and those high-rise hotels. But that's what pays the bills. And come Monday morning, they'll all be gone. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. So hang a close sign on the door. We're locking up this 
little star cause outside it's 85 degrees. So I grab my fins and my fishing gear, let's hit the beach and get out of here cause I feel the need for sand beneath my feet. Pete breaks out an old guitar. He bought it from a guy in a bar by the name of Jody Bly for 30 bucks and six to go. Crowd starts forming. They got Coke and Captain Morgan. And Glenn's known to have a few. Yeah, fire up the barbecue. Cause it's volleyball and blenders all day long. Oh, oh, la, la, life in a beach town. Studio audience, what do you guys think about this beach town we're hanging out in? <laughs> I second the motion. And now the Pelicans, they're putting on a show for the big yachts and the charter boats and those sailors out harnessing the breeze. And all the sunburned fishermen just trying to reel that big one in. Now it's a, a crazy life out past the reef. Now there's a painted sky beyond the pier. So before we head on out of here, let's raise our glasses to the sea. Everybody raise them up at home and make a toast to you and me. We all applaud as the golden sun goes down. Oh, oh, la, la, can't hear ya. Oh, oh, la, la, oh, oh, la, la. Life in a beach town. Turk Sims, I'm going to throw your song in. We're going to close out with this next one right here. want to remind you next week we'll be back again, and I'll give you a show. It might just even be like an hour-long thing, because on Valentine's Day, you might have some plans you want to attend to. Just throwing the idea out there, you know? Going to bat for you on this one. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, make sure you send me a, a, a picture. I need some new wedding pictures, and if you, if you have just a nice romantic shot, you too, but not overly romantic. I know some of you. Uh, something that we can show on, on the show. Rated G, maybe PG-13. Okay? Um, but do that and make sure, if you want to, send me a little something special about that person you love. It could just be a, a sentence. It could be a paragraph, a funny story. Um, a friend of mine up in Phoenix was telling me, she says, you know what I really, really love about my husband? Uh, she says, you know, every single day that guy wakes up for me. She says, I have to go to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, and he doesn't have to, but he wakes up every day and he goes down and, and he starts my car for me. And, and, uh, and then he goes back to bed while I go off to work. And then later on he goes to his job. And she says, you know what? She goes, that just to me is the most romantic thing. Who would think that starting a car for somebody would be that romantic? Uh, my buddy Oli, who may be watching tonight, I remember him saying one of the most romantic gifts he ever got from his wife was a tire. <laughs> he says, you know, when we first got married, I really needed that tire. And she went out and she got me that tire. Well, that's love, folks. So it could be whatever you want to. Um, make sure you send it to me, and I'm going to play some love songs next week. We'll throw in some fun ones, too. But uh, I want to throw in some of the songs that you never get to hear, and Valentine's Day is a good chance to do it. Um, all right. We're going to head back to that site of my very first gig. And what a ride it's been. Turk Sims, this one goes out for you, watching us in West Texas tonight. God bless all of you guys, and thanks for being part of the show. And stick around because you just might see your face in the, uh, in the closing theme song written by our buddy Rudy B. And Rudy B., thank you for all you do to help make this show happen. It's been a fun night. I walked into that bar in Kirkland Junction. The place was full of cowboys as I whipped out my guitar. With a bar stool for a stage And 50 bucks in pay Just a few songs into my very first solo gig He said, my name's Guy and I don't like your music There it is Would you kindly take that guitar Drink your beer and hit the road I said, Guy, I'll tell you what Name any song you want And if you stump me, 
I swear, I'm out the door. Thank God I knew Guy's favorite tune that night. Probably saved my life. If not for rose-colored glasses, what would have happened? I might. They got killed that night. But Guy just took his hat off and he stuck it on my head. Slapped me on the back and said, I like this kid. And as I look back now, I just say, wow, what a ride. And guys, I am still alive. Now we're heading up the coast to Rocky Point. To a cantina 60 miles south of the border. Used to be a prison, then a brothel, then a bar. Well, my first career mistake was playing their spring break and wondering, where's my chicken wire? Some punk crawled up on stage and grabbed the microphone so he could scream the F word to all his wasted friends. Well, I kicked his butt off stage and he flew into a rage and a billiard ball came flying at my head. Had I not been sober, I might not have moved over and I'd be dead. It ain't ball to the head. But it just grazed my ear and I spilled my beer. And that was it. Not for him. His buddies blew him off and he couldn't afford the bail. Bet he won't talk about that week he spent in jail. Cause what happens in Mexico, we know how that goes. Oh my. Now the years have come and gone and I've been successful at avoiding any type of what they call a real job. And the more that I turn gray, the more I love to play. So thank you guys for listening to my song. From that very first tune in that cowboy saloon, I never knew where the road would lead. From sleeping in cars on beaches and bars I see a lot of miles between from Kirkland Junction to the Texas coast Southern Cal to Florida then down to Mexico I seen buses and trains and boats and planes on this ride this amazing ride so hand me a guitar me a mic and I'll keep on singing until the day I die and with my last breath I'll say no regrets what a ride what a ride been quite a ride been quite a ride and what a night here on Monday night. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Facebook and keeping this show going with your support, with your tips, turning your friends on to it. Week after week we do this thing. We keep it different every week, and I really appreciate all your support. Pablo Nanais, great job tonight. Rudy B., thank you for all your help. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the ride. Thank you, guys. I look forward to seeing you next week, Valentine's Day, right here on Mulligan's Island. Let's make our way down to Mexico where we can meet the friends we know. White sand, warm sun, and H2O. It's time for us to get back to laid back. Try a different beer from our favorite six pack. 
This crazy world says, come on, let's go. It's time for the music man, a coastal kid with guitar in hand. Even bad days are good here on the island. Giving us a place where we can talk to each other fan to fan. Uncharted courses crossing our paths. It's our kind of people and our kind of place. Down in the tropics, it's a Mexican hideaway. Life in this old beach town turns a frown upside down. I'll be smiling here on Mulligan's Island. It's the right place and the right time to be south of the border again. This is the day we get to listen in. We don't sing no blues anymore. We kick off our shoes at our front door Full of wide-eyed wonder as the waves roll in It's time for the music man A coastal kid with guitar in hand Even bad days are good here on the island Giving us a place where we can Talk to each other fan to fan Uncharted courses crossing our paths It's our kind of people And our kind of place Down in the tropics A Mexican hideaway Life in this old beach town Turns a frown upside down We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island We all be smiling Here on Mulligan's Island